this is crazy absolutely crazy i absolutely love this so what we have today is a preview of the new rules for the real guns um only covers the hammerheads gun so the real gun they're also uh real weapons on the pathfinders can take some and the broadside so those would be the two big ones maybe some changes to the forge world ones i don't know they're always a bit iffy but this is crazy so what we can see here is we've got a 72 inch range heavy one strength 14 strength 14 i'm going to repeat that because that's just crazy ap minus six you're not getting a saving throw for this damage d3 plus six now that's crazy enough but then we get the abilities no invulnerable saving throw and every successful wound roll you get three mortal wounds on top of what you get so minimum damage if you hit with this gun which uh on a three up which is what what it is currently we'll go over the current hammerhead data sheet in a moment but assuming you hit you've got a strength 14 shot so anything toughness seven or less you're wounding on a two they're not going to get a saving throw with ap minus six they're not going to get to use their invulnerable save and it's taking 10 damage minimum 10 damage up to 12. realistically 11 damage that's your average is going to be for this 11 damage with one shot so you're going to one shot things like rhinos uh the basic dreadnoughts like it's absolutely mad i love this plus this says it pairs well with the new marker light rolls i don't know what those are yet i'm hoping a preview will come for them soon but bearing in mind this next bit seems to tie in with the new marker light stuff each time this unit's hammerhead model is selected to shoot you can re-roll one hit roll when resolving its attacks so even if you miss you get to re-roll it right so that's just crazy you are almost definitely going to hit with this on a full strength hammerhead you know full wounds not bracketed if it's bracketed makes it a bit more tricky but still I don't know how this is going to pair with marker lights so you might need some more marker lights in the game but we'll see then we've got now it used to be a profile on the real gun with submunitions again we'll have a look at the data sheet in a minute the current one now it's a uh, stratagem a 36 inch range roll a d6 for each model in that unit add one to each roll if that unit has 11 or more models for each four up that unit suffers one mortal wound to a maximum of eight so for one command point you can obliterate probably half a squad of infantry realistically and if there's more than 10 you're going to obliterate probably the full eight models so well for single wound ones obviously if you're talking about space marines you know with their two wounds each or that sort of thing a bit more tricky but it's the fact that those are mortal wounds it's just mad this is so good but we'd love to see what the other real guns are going to be so we'll take a look at the current data sheet so you can see here is our current data sheet on wahapedia so finding the real gun solid shot or submunitions submunitions is now a stratagem but i think the stratagem is probably better than that but you can see previously we were at strength 10 minus 4 ap d6 damage with d3 mortal wounds on a six plus so realistically you weren't going to get those mortal wounds you needed a six or more for the mortal wounds now you get them three mortal wounds for free they're just there you get them you get your four extra strength so previously you would have been wounding strength five or more and this is remember this is going to be targeting vehicles this is what you want to shoot at vehicles this is crazy the new gun is absolutely crazy with its uh so the new gun with its profile 14 strength minus 6 ap d3 plus 6 damage is just mad so we'll take a look at the uh the broadside because it's got a heavy rail rifle so not the real gun heavy rail rifle previously strength 8 so it was two less than the hammerhead ap minus 4 same ap damage d6 same damage and I'm proccing a single mortal wound on a six plus so if we extrapolate which you know 
may not be the best thing to do. Actually, let's just check the range of the previous 72 inch range. So it hasn't changed the range. Back at the broadside, 60 inch range. So we can assume that probably won't change. Heavy too, hopefully won't change. Strength, I think will go up. Whether it goes up correspondingly to a minor, uh, 12, you know, two less than the real gun or whether it just goes up to 10 or whatever, I don't know. But still, even if it goes up to 12, that's still wounding anything. Toughness six on a two up, AP minus four. Maybe that'll go to minus five. Maybe it'll even go to the minus six. I don't know. Damage, I have no idea what they're going to do with the damage, but I can think it'll be good. It'll be, maybe it'll be the full six plus D3. Maybe, I hope so. I really do hope so because at the moment taking something with so few shots is, I hate to use the words hit and miss, but mostly miss the way I play. And whether or not this procs the, the three mortal wounds or just one mortal wound, I don't know. The other real rifle is on the Pathfinder team, which as you can see is down here, is rapid fire one, strength six, AP minus four, damage D3. So maybe this will go to a flat three damage. AP minus four might stay the same, but like all the other real guns have a minus four AP for the, you know, the, so if that goes, if that goes to minus six to match, no saving throw, a little squad of these, you can take three. So you can see up to three Pathfinders may replace their marker light and pulse carbine with an iron rifle or real rifle. You could take three of those in a squad at the moment. Again, we don't know what the new rules are going to be. We don't know whether it's a single one or multiple, but I can see these guys being a little squad of heavy, you know, basically vehicle killers. If you've got three shots of rapid fire one at 30 inch range, you can get close enough to your vehicle to get the rapid fire. So that's two shots. Now, fair enough, these guys only hitting the four up. But still, I mean, it is it is very, very good looking. I do like this. And interesting to see that they are definitely showing or definitely saying there is new marker light rules. I can't wait to see what they've done with that. Again, I wish that came up now, but probably be a, pre, uh, be a preview for another day. But yeah, I mean, this is looking... Good because as anybody who's played town knows that or even knows the lore the real guns are supposed to be the the prima weapon in the almost in the entire 40k battlefield you know it, this is the gun that kills things in one shot and now it can because previously d6 damage i mean you're just as likely to roll a one as a six realistically speaking you could shoot a tank with the the current profile and you could roll a one one for the d6 damage i mean if you roll a one and you've wounded on you know you wounded on a four up and you wounded and you rolled a four and you do one damage fantastic like why would you would not take the real gun as it stands just the the ion cannon is just a better choice but with the new rules now we haven't seen what they're going to do with the ion cannon they may not change it they may like it where it is they may give it more damage more shots i don't know but we haven't even looked at long strike yet, so the current rules, so you can add one to wound rules for long strike's gunship when it shoots. And there is an exemplar. Yeah, add one to hit rules in the shooting phase for friendly tau sept hammerheads within six inch of long strike. So you put him next to a couple of hammerheads and he covers himself because he is a hammerhead. So I mean it's he's gonna be hitting just as hard. I mean he's got a two up hit like but you go back to this one. So previously three up. Now we don't know what the, what the uh, data sheet's going to be. We don't know whether this is going to change. It could go to four up. I hope it doesn't. Hope it stays at three up. But if that stays as it is and long strike stays as it is and you're hitting on twos. I mean you're going to be hitting on twos, wounding on twos and destroying vehicles. You put three of these down somewhere. You know long strike as one then two hammerheads. It's just mad. I can see this being overpowered. Now, all of this depends on points. Again, same as I said in the battle suits, if the points are correspondingly too high to make it worthwhile, you're not going to see it. If the points are correspondingly too low to make it absurd, you're going to see three of these with a long strike. And it's going to be mad. So the more previews we get, the more excited I am to see this. I really, really want to see these in the game. So, 
that's enough rambling from me and I shall see you with the next preview.